Hi guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. Today I am going to show you an origami that I did. So this is designed by me. Here is a dancing I mean a girl with a frock. And if you add a pair of wings, then it, you can you will get a guardian angel. You know what it is, a guardian angel. Spirit that look after the place or the cosmota war. I am going to show you to do this. So my little sister Bagi asked me if, if I can do one with the frock and legs and the same so that's why i designed this this is also my design i call it the dancers he has a frock and it really flies i think but i don't know and this one quite flutters that's not important i'm just going to um, do the white part if you want you can just add wings using any kind of photo sheets photo paper so I am going to show you how to make an origami. So I am going to show you how to make three origamis that I designed. I even designed four of them. This thing. So first thing what I do here is I fold in half. I water just set so you can see in the car. So now what I do here is I fold in half. So what we now do here is we make okay so now we make 16 by 16 grid. Well, that could be quite difficult. And to make 16 by 16 grid means, first I make the 8 grids on the front side. We do need. Okay, so guys, it doesn't mean by 16 by 16 grid. Only in the vertical way, 16 I am talking about. Okay. So now what we do next is we just at any side we fold it in half just to the center line over here. By the way, so it's not easy to find. So just kind of like it's right there. And please and do it on the other side. Just like that. Now comes a little bit of the difficultest part. Is that it? Okay. So now, what we do here is, we kind of fold the lines from these points to, like, from these points over there, we are going to form a line. This. Okay, so how that I mean is, so, from this point over there to this point, like here, we are going to form a line. Okay, see, like this. We are going to form a line from this point to this. Which is actually valid. It's based on the fold that is happening. So if there are both sides valid, then you valid fold. Or you can just go back and pinch it. Pinch the mark. Like this. A bit. So first I'm going to start from the outer side. These are valet. I'm just going to valet fold them inwards. That's okay if we do some a little bit extra. Like this. There is a little bit thing that is wrong. But it doesn't matter too much at the up. Yes. Okay, so now we flip it back and again valley fold on this bottom part, which is actually valley on the both sides. This time it's quite easier. As we go down, the smaller the folds get. And easier to make. Okay, now we flip and continue. Yes. So 
let's flip back. Like that. Again, flip back. Do the same process until we get to the point of this small right over. So we're definitely close. I mean, just on the both sides we do it fast okay so now we made all that this mountain valley mountain valley mountain valley so now we are going to make a y it's like folding all these inner creases so i'm going to pause this video and then i'll show you at the later out below Okay, so now I made the Y meets like, see this is how the inner creases I made. Mountain one, rectangle one, up and inner like valley. Then when it comes, it's in like this one. Y with a very long you know, bottom. So now we are going to make the head, which is right over here. So we just take, see when the, the three flaps. So the first and second and third, you just take the second and third one, like opening only this flap up. And now at the center crease, you mountain fold and valley fold on the both sides. See, like that. You pull this out and squeeze, just like that. See, you got the head and the hands and your whole frock. Now what you do is. You open here and you push at any one side and open this like, <coughs> get it like open this a little bit, see, and now you fully open it like that and now what we do is just at any corner like for example here I am going to make a mountain fold like this and a valley fold right over there or you can do it up here because that's not might be the correct we need the biggest we need very big frock right so that's why just make a little like just over there and now you unfold now take equally on the both sides which should be two two and now you mountain fold so you mountain fold here and now also you mountain fold at the back this see we mountain fold it like this on the both sides see that's how it looks inside a small this small little strip like is opened and just do that the same right over there it forms while you are doing, now you both put them back down and that's how it looks at the side you open this, it's quite like that and then we are going to continue now take out your hands and then mount and fold them on looking if you are looking at it on its top like this the hands are not very important or you can just first of all you have to bend like this. If you want to can lock their hands. You want like this. One of them must be front or back. And then if you want to can lock them up like this. And then you open this little slit a bit like that. Now we are going to just make the frock because the whole thing is done on the top. So nothing to do up there. So we just kind of squeeze it. There. Now just to make the frock and open it. On the side what happens is you take the first layer and just pull over. And uh, we are going to do this a quite a bit faster. And I'm pushing everything outside. And see, I take this 
back and like this. I do here is just yes, or like that and open everything. And just whatever it could be, can be any like holes that is not very necessary. You have to just make it a bit bulge, just like there. You got it? See, on one side we made this bulge, just to make it on the other. Side. So I'm just going to keep this one, the front one, at there, and lock it back. It still stays like that. The locking system you can do it anyway. That's not so important. Thing is that these parts must be opened neatly. Okay, now we open them on both sides. Lock on the both sides. There. We are done with some parts. So this is how mine came. Yeah, this is mine. Here's your answer. If you want, you can add the wings. So you just do like this and make it a bit bulky. Yes, bulky and open wide, straight. See, there is our girl with the frock done. It's like she's in her something. So you got the two differences. Only it's just there with their hands and that one. So the next one what I'm going to so this one is not the one I'm going to do. I'm going to teach you how to make the stinky cheese and the origami blowfish. They're both designed by me. First we're going to do the stinky cheese. That's funny. So okay, I just take a stinky cheese color paper. And it's just that's okay. I don't know. Now we fold it in half. You only need a half of it. Now what we do here is just pour a bit for the size of it. Just like this. And now you fold it like this. It doesn't matter really. You just have to be inwards and about here. So the length of here must be a quite longer. A bit. See just like that. And now we make a middle pinch. So now from this point, now from this point to this point, we make a line. Or you can have done it early. I think it's just easier for me. That's why I did. Okay, so now what? Now we have done like this. We fold the outer one, bit more, on both sides. And now, make a little pocket. Before that pocket, you just kind of valet fold here, which, okay, it must be like this, and I fold this at back. And now, you must valet fold, at this way. And now, we take in the pocket, and slide it in. Now, you can draw the, Stinky cheeses. Stinky cheese. Hmm. That's not more important. So now we are going to continue and make the blowfish very fast. So I will take the same paper. As it might look a bit better with the aqua color. So water like. Or you could use anything else. It doesn't really matter. So we are going to make a water bomb base. So we go, so, you know, to make a water bomb base, everyone knows it. So easy. Always the starting folds are one that go cross or like that. So now we make the water bomb, bomb base. Like this. Now fold up. Fold down. And unfold. Fold and unfold like this. And now one third of it you fold. Just good. 
You can't find it. We just need to break through. But see, now it's one third. On the both sides, we do this. So like this, then and fold. See that's how you get. Now to do one another part, what's called the lock. So but here we are not going to lock on this side. I mean we just do like this. See, we fold these two at the bottom, and then we try to fold like this. See, and then you unfold. That's not so important. And now it's like this. This is going to be our bottom part. So this is how it's going to be looking. And now we're going to do on its face. So you do exactly the same thing what we did. No need pausing for this. Very easy method. It's just the difficult part is what to do is three by three. We use bigger sheets. It's quite better, I guess. Or you can just fold the pieces at our back. That's easier. Yeah, but it's fine. Okay, so now we done. Time to do the upper folds. We did. I just need to keep this part in, so they both match. It doesn't really matter. Only on the top. So now you just. Hold them like this. If we can make your up or bottom, so I'm just going to think this is bottom because it's kind of hard to neatly. So now, at any side, you can you have to tuck this in in this pocket right over there. See, you just tuck in this in this pocket and fold this back. Same thing to do in here. On this, and then. Tucking it into there. See, on only one side you must put like the other side can be open. It must be instead of can. Okay, so now it's like this. So this is how it's going to look, I think. So now what we are going to do is we are going to blow on there. Oops, that's. That's just nothing. Okay, now what we do here is this is really neat. So this is going to be the bottom part where we open this. So we just push this in, in like this. See, just push it, but not very much. Just until here. And now at the back, see at the bottom part, you pinch it only a bit upper, like here. And it must be a bit more valley. It must be like this. This is how much how it must look like. Oh uh, yes. And now what we do here is, um, at any side it could be openable. Now the more thing. Now we just open this flap. This. There are two layers. We only. Open this upper layer of this. Ah, it's okay if it's there, because it's not very useful. But it is if you want. You can tear off that part, or you can just. I'm just going to unfold because it's not very useful. Or you can just tear it off, but no thanks. It will just tear because it needs. And now you just fold this back like this. Right there to make a mouth. That mouth, not like a blowfish. Something that's useful in the action part of it. Because I didn't even show you a first model about it, so I'm just going to show you because it's a surprise. Now I fold it, and it's quite hard to do there. Now we tuck in this. We're just going to do the same thing right over here. Like that. And then quite open and bend it like a curved opening, and done. See that's how it must look. An opening inner mouth hat, like that. Okay, so now what we do here is, hmm. oh, 
So the one thing is that on the both sides you must. So what we do here is now where that I said this is opening and this. So when they are both open, you only tuck the upper ones. See, the upper ones you only tuck in. Because if you don't understand, I think you'll soon later know it a bit. Now I tuck in, tuck in only on the upper side one. That's the way it shouldn't be opening. If I did it on an A4, you will find it easier for yourself. But I better tuck. It's coming because smaller it is. A bit neater the action might look. Not might. So I'm just going to pull this back. Open this flap. It's quite hard to tuck in whenever it's quite hard to do it. So when I tuck in and I just close it. And then I push it back. In. This mounted. Okay now what we do is. We have only tucked on one side. Now just do it on the other side. But it's not very important. It's just so in case it doesn't open. So this blowfish is an action model. So it opens its mouth and it goes quite a bit blowfish like blown. Now just going to there now our blowfish is done like this. The head must be correct. There. Now I just put my lips in the mouth and blow, and this part will shoot open. I hold its upper fins. See, it must open like that. Isn't that amazing? And now I hold up like this, and then I quite a bit open them like this. Looks like some squid, and it's not real. That's the main part. And then it has a mouth. That's why I tear here. And now, how to unfold back is just fold this at a mountain like that. And then mountain, mountain, ballet. Squeeze on the top and take this down. Yeah. Now done your blowfish. Even though the folds are unfolded, you just have to hold the top. So the down ones are not holded, so they open up. Just like that. And it's getting better all the time. Or it can be like one bowl or something. Okay, bye guys. Subscribe below.